So here I am in the car, and um, I want to show you. keep everything in the car because remember I'm a closet beekeeper. What is a closet beekeeper? Well it's a beekeeper that their family doesn't want them to do beekeeping. That's a closet beekeeper. So I am going to uh, basically feed the bees today. I've got a bunch of, um, I, I mixed up some syrup, innovative something. Uh, I keep all my gear here. Smoker. I'm not going to go into the hive today so um, I'm not going to worry about that too much. It's a little chilly. I don't want to mess with them. I just want to get food out for them. Uh, it's gotten cold again. It's amazing. It's already it's, it's uh, May. And it's really cold again. Um, you don't want to go into the hive too much. What I've learned is it it sets the balance. The the bees have it at a specific uh, temperature, right? So um, what I want is I may need. Um, I may need a nail. I'm gonna get one little little uh, nail and a hammer out of here. Uh, interesting. I didn't know it would do that. This is um, I want to show you this. This is actually from a Fuji plant, and um, it's a seed pod. And it's really a great tool if you're going to basically do weaving or whatever. Here's your point. You slice a little hole in here. You put your uh, weaving, uh, um, I don't know what they call it, you know, where your stitch. And it has a nice little thumb thing to push through, right? The weave. You could even trim this down a little bit here. But it's actually twisted. Here's another one. Here's one that actually kept its tip, right? It's also twisted. So obviously when it dries, it twists, right? But what I'm thinking is I may want to do some weaving a straw uh, to make a, to make a, I want to practice, see if I can learn the skill. And I thought these would make really cool little weaving needles. So I kept them. Let's put them in here. Uh, so what I'm looking for is some nails. I should have nails in here somewhere. Where's the nails? Nails, nails, where are you? Are you in here? Probably not. The problem is finding anything in here. I'm so organized, I can't find anything. You know what? The other thing, since I'm in here, I just thought of something. Uh, not yet. This is a uh, cinnamon powder, right? So cinnamon powder supposedly kills ants, so I have that in a little vial. This is an old um, origami vial, so I just put it in here so I can just put it out. Um, I don't know if you saw that. I carry a sieve. Here's a sieve, right? A little sieve so I can sieve it out there. Just kind of, uh, Here's an empty one. This is what I'm looking for. I'm going to start collecting mites, okay? So I wanted an empty uh, jar here, so I'm going to take the paper off here. And my goal is I'm going to start collecting these little mites. Why am I collecting mites? Well, a couple reasons. One is I want to uh, experiment on these little fuckers, right? Um, I'm going to put them, I'm going to see how they react to different things, like um, if I coat them in uh, tea tree oil, you know? So maybe I can spray the bees with some tea tree oil, uh, fine mist them. Um, I want to see how they respond to different sorts of uh, treatments. Uh, that way I can come up with a solution, right? So I want to start collecting these little crackers. Maybe put a couple bees in here so they can actually live off the bees, but I'm going to collect them. So that's what this is. Um, so I always carry my uh, bee outfit and I carry boots. A little tip, if you're uh, you got using your wife's car, you want to uh, switch out of your shoes into your boots and switch out of your boots. That way it keeps the car not as dirty. So I have my overalls. You can see I've been wearing them in pretty good. Uh, the layers of clothing helps if you get stung, but I don't think I've been stung. Ugh. All right. This is a little bit too small. This is the largest size I could find in Japan, and it's still, look at that, it's still too small. 
a little too small for me. All right, on there. Um, I always keep my gloves in my pockets here, so I know my gloves are in here, and my lower pockets here. Um, since I want to use this, I lost my tea tree oil yesterday. That's that's like 20 bucks gone. Really infuriates me. Um, I was, this is the camera, but it's on a tripod pod now, thanks to someone's recommendation. I want to use your tripod, I have a tripod, and I just wasn't using it. But so I remember to put the camera in here. There it is. Um, what I need is a hammer. Remember? I carry a little hammer with me. I'm gonna grab my little hammer this time. This string is annoying the crap out of me. It keeps coming out. I picked up some uh, burlap bag. It was only like a two dollars, right? I'm actually gonna put this down on the ground to help protect my wife's car. All right, so I picked this up. So maybe that's something that I will do today. Also, the burlap is good for cutting and putting on top of your hive for moisture. I picked up some boxes yesterday too because I want to start making all these, but um, I need a way to do that. This box here is a swarm. If I catch a swarm, right, I want to put, a, put them in here and cover them up. Um, I need to actually put little vents or something in here. This isn't quite complete. Scissors. Scissors are a necessity. Put those back in where they should be. Put those back in here. Here's all my uh, my Japanese, right? I got multiple, multiple of these out there. I don't know where without a lighter, they should be locked. I don't know why it's not locked. Right, in there. Here's my hammer, my little hammer. So let's put that hammer in my pocket here. Put it in with my gloves down here. And I'm still looking for. See why I need my nails, so I'm going to grab my nails. All right, so switch out of my shoes into my boots, and I strongly recommend you uh, you get boots that have little ties here. Not that I don't think any bees going to crawl down there, but you know you never can be too careful, right? My bees. I mean, my bees are really, really super tame. He's back in here. All right. All right. So I got everything. All right. So let's now go to the beehive. So this here, show you where I cross a little bridge here. secret beehive here. So let me fix this here. Cool thing about having adjustable legs, you can fit up to any terrain. And um, this should be here. Okay. All right, so there's the hive. Let's lock it down. It's a little chilly day. What I'm going to do. I'm actually just going to put it here. Now, I've gotten this plate here, and I'm thinking if, um, the problem 
probably can um, cut a little hole here. I'm looking at how this works here. How do I want this to work? So the bottle is going to sit up on top of this. Here's my fluid. Right? I'm thinking I want to do it this way. Yeah. But I also want to cut it so the bees can get out. So. I don't want rain to get in, so I'm trying to set this up so the rain won't get in. The, I think it's on a natural slant. Yeah, it's on a natural slant. So this should be fine here. Let's see what happens here. And what I want to do, the reason why I wanted my nails is I want to put a little hole in the top here. Actually, let's see what happens. I think it was leaking. So the feeder is going to sit here. The idea is it's going to drip out on here. The bees can come up here right and get it so they'll have a little plate here to feed on yeah so that's going to work One hole. This is from uh, the fat bee man. One little hole. Just enough to dribble down in here. That's why I wanted my nails. Where's my hammer? Little hammer. I don't know if this is where I want to put it, but. big hole into it. Crap. This uh, lid is old. So now I gotta do some duct taping. They were drowning in this feeder, right? So I'm hoping that this new feeder is gonna do better. duct tape on this and then I'm going to hole in the duct tape right two little holes and uh, that's kind of coming out pretty quick so stones in here. Hope this isn't gonna overflow.
pretty deep. I'm gonna, so, seems like it may be a bit too deep, which I need to get some stones or something, or maybe some reed or some wood or something to kind of put in here. So actually what I did, there more of this. Yeah. Well, this isn't breaking, I don't have a chisel with me. Maggot in there. Huh. Some larva. Well, hopefully the bees will come. They're not very active today. So I uh, set this feeder. Hope that isn't gonna fall off. Oh, precarious. So I show you what I did here. So I've set this beat this uh, feeder up here. I've narrowed the entrance of the hive. I put in um, some um, 
some sticks for the walk on. The bee, I don't know if you can see in there, but the bees are actually um, in there. I got a little opening at the bottom so they can get out. Right? Right down in there. I don't know if you can see that right there. See a few moving around. It's a little chilly out there. So let's look at the, the, the baseboard here. I forgot to bring my um, um, my my information to write notes. I gotta run there. Wish I could pause this. There's a way to pause. How do I pause? There's no pause.